Good morning and happy new year to all my friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 3rd, 2022. Well, as we finished up this year, we had a little bit of weakness, a little bit of selling, probably not a big surprise. Volume was extremely light, but I got to tell you, we have to give it up to the bulls, even though we had extremely low volume price action held up very, very strong. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. You know, guys, there is a, an unbelievable amount of prediction out there in the market. Um, those predicting uh, the market is just going to soar. Those predicting that the uh, gloom and doom is headed uh, for the market. And the thing is, guys, what we have to do is we have to set all that stuff aside. Remember, predictions really don't matter. What, what matters is what happens to the price action today? What happens to the price action of the trades that you are in? We only make money when price moves and you can have all kinds of grand predictions, but unless you can read that price action and follow through, um, with that price action to a successful trade, you're going to continue to struggle in the market. So try to set aside all of those, that all of that hype and prediction. And that's one of the purposes of these videos to take a look at the technicals of the chart. Now that said, we have a very bullish chart here showing up in the Dow this morning, but it does present some risk as well. Let's take a look. We have a um, nice little support area in here. We rallied up through there, rested a few days, and now we show some bullishness this morning. Unfortunately, the pre-market is pumping this up nearly 200 points on the gap up this morning. We have softened ever so slightly from the high of the morning, but just keep in mind, we're looking at a big gap up. And what that means for a retail trader, if we were to just blindly rush into this, there's an awful lot of risk just to a stop loss if we were to pop, poke our head right into these um, resistance highs up here and reverse. So remember, anytime we have a big gap up and we're approaching resistance levels, setting new record highs, that's one of those opportunities where we can get that pop and drop pattern where we pump up there and then we find nothing but sellers and push back. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to be the case, but what that means is, is we do have to take a breath and pause just a little bit before we dive in headlong. Let's not start 2022 with bad trading by chasing um, emotionally into the market. Let's also take a look right here. If this is our current trend, guys, we might have to consolidate for a considerable period of time in this price range just to come out here to get to that trend. So we're kind of stretched out here on our indexes to start out the new year. Now, keep in mind, we set 70 new records last year in the SPY. That means that an awful lot of stocks are extremely stretched out and those PE ratios are extremely high. So you'll want to think about those valuations and also think about that there was record numbers of selling from insiders and CEOs um, heading into the end of the year. I think they um, are starting to show that, hey, some of this might be a little bit overbaked. Um, in the short term. So watch carefully for that. We don't want to get caught in a pop and drop. Make sure you're seeing follow through on those stocks that you might be interested here um, heading into the new year. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY set those new record highs in the market and continue to try and push on higher. Notice we're holding above some price support in the chart. We have a 
double bottom pattern in here so we really don't have much of an overall trend unless we pull back substantially in the chart and if we pull back in the chart run a trend up through here you can see that would require us to maybe consolidate for a long period of time just to come out here and contact that trend now that being said we're showing lots of bullishness this morning we'll want to watch that carefully as we pop up in here remember we've rejected this price up here three times last week we pushed up just couldn't quite hold on saw a little bit of selling so be careful once again for that potential of a pop and drop not that it will occur but that potential is there so you want to be paying attention to that also let's take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq fell short of making new record highs we've tried and tried um, to push up this is a, a substantial move up and this pullback unfortunately we dropped just a little bit below this support area so we push through that as resistance and um, we're not quite able to hold it now we're trying to pump up again this morning but let's realize as we try to pump here up here this morning we're actually pushing right into that resistance level that could show us that rejection if we can get through there let's take a look up here we've rejected this area a couple of times and that possibility that we could slip here in that chart if we fail up here at that resistance level now once again if i pull this back for a bit of a longer term trend you notice out here if i were to grab these areas and pull this out that means a considerable consolidation could still be in play if um, we can't find that motivation to really push through those resistance levels so watch carefully it's also one of those places where if we were to fail after breaking that support if we can't hold that and fail we can come back in here to retest that trend as support so just kind of keep that in mind i'm not suggesting that run for the hills or anything like that i'm not saying anything along those lines but i will say that there is reason to have just a little bit of caution here uh, first thing this morning or first thing this year. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM, this one has been um, kind of an interesting chart for a long, long time. Notice we have massive, a massive amount of resistance in that chart. And one of the things that I've been concerned about before and continue to want to watch carefully is this level of price support. Because if we were to give this level of price support up, there's really nothing to hold IWM. So let's keep an eye on this. We've got a significant level of price resistance here in the chart. And if we take a look at our moving averages, we're still below our 50-day moving average. So notice that our 200 is below the 50. Um, not exactly a good technical picture for IWM. And although we are pump pumping up here this morning trying to push higher, notice how often or how many times we've kind of struggled with this little price area here just recently. So watch that carefully. If we pop into that resistance and find some sellers, it shouldn't be all that big a surprise so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at our vix now our vix has continued to pull back and that is a good sign showing that that fear is dropping out of the market but unfortunately that fear was dropping out of the market with extremely low volumes and so we can't get i'm not sure we can trust this all that much but if we take a look we have done some really good things here in this bullishly we're below that 20 level here in the chart and there's been a big level right through there for a long long time and we've also broken this upside trend to the downside so that is bullish for the market however we're still holding when you think about it relatively elevated around 17 handles here relatively elevated as we're trying to set new record highs in the market so we're going to have to keep a close eye on that because that's one of those things that can really whip and reverse really quickly if those bears were to find a reason to show up i'm not suggesting they will but if they do find a reason to show up this could move pretty quickly and we are still 
much more elevated than you would expect we would see as we're setting new record highs in the market. Let's also take a look at our T2122. This is the four week new high, new low ratio. And this also should give everyone just a little bit of a pause. Um, first thing this morning, we're gonna be gapping up about 200 points in the Dow, gapping up in all four of the indexes. And notice that we are very, very near our bearish reversal zone. That's gonna probably pump us up, clear up into here um, early this morning um, at the open. So we're going to be um, in that bearish reversal zone. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we immediately, excuse me, that we immediately find sellers. However, it does suggest that possibility that if we pop up in here, we could see that pushback by the bears and that that little bit of oversold condition and that's how those pop and drop patterns can occur. So watch that closely. We're kind of extended here in that short term market. Just keep in mind that if we can find bullish reason and we do have a couple things on the economic calendar that maybe could give us that bullish reason and we just have kind of a limited upside opportunity in here before we're up here maxed out in our T2122. And what that means is that we have a big opening to the downside if we have reason for bears to step in. So watch carefully on that. Remember T2122 does not tell us the direction of the market today. It just gives us those clues when we're overbought or oversold. And just like we were talking about here in that overbought condition and that uh, or um, oversold condition and overbought condition, and it works very, very well if you're willing to look at that data. Then let's take a look at T2108. Now, here's another thing that's just continuing to bother me in the market. We're setting new record highs in our market, and we're doing that with only 42% of our stocks above the 40-day moving average. Now, I know no one looks at the 40-day moving average. I wish they'd have made this indicator with a 50-day. But what we do want to recognize is that we're setting more and more record highs and we're doing it with fewer and fewer stocks. That makes those internals in the market show us a little bit of concern and that possibility that we could eventually falter here if some of those um, high flying stocks were to retreat. So watch that carefully. And our T2107 unfortunately does not help us out anymore um, on that uh, case. Notice that we have been in a downtrend for a long, long time here in T2107. Now, this could be a couple things. Um, this is the percentage of stocks that are above their 200-day moving average. And notice that we have improved this week. Now, we are so bearish here on this. That could be a reason for a little bit of bullishness to suggest that, hey, um, we've got so many oversold stocks that maybe we can start pushing these up and recover. Now, where we're going to see that, guys, is when we finally start breaking some of these resistance levels in the chart and we push up and actually hold that downtrend or support levels as support. We hold them and then we could start to see those stocks that are very low pushing up here, moving us through. But remember guys, we've seen this before where we pushed right up into here and then we reversed and kept going down. So as we approach this level up here, you wanna be watching that closely. If we find reason for bearishness, that could be another failure up along this area and we're gonna to wanna to watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our T2101. The T21 is the market breadth. Now, obviously our market breadth cannot be all that healthy when we have so many stocks below the 200 day moving average, so many stocks uh, below their 40 day moving average. And that being said, we, we spent most of last couple of years falling underneath this wedging pattern. And notice that we've held that wedging pattern here as support now. So that does raise that little bit of concern level. And remember, market breadth 
tends to increase on a bearish move. So we have that little bit of sign here that there's a little bit more bearish activity than we would like to see in here. And if that continues to extend to the upside, that could signal some problems for us. However, if we can get enough bullish reason, maybe we just really press hard to the upside today, and there's no reason to believe we can't, but if we push really hard to that upside, maybe we could sink this back down inside this wedge, and we would probably feel a little bit more comfortable and as long as we're in this area showing that market breadth pulling back as we continue to rally we'll want to watch that closely i still think there's reason here for caution and there's reason to be pretty watchful here in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar well this week we've got quite a few market moving or potentially market moving reports we're going to start off this year with a reading on pmi manufacturing and construction spending keep in mind guys that we have seen some pretty substantial declines here recently in pending home sales and existing home sales. Um, construction spending could be a little bit interesting and we've seen a little bit of, of a problem with PMI or with manufacturing altogether because we're seeing a lot of the manufacturers well under capacity um, in their factories. Um, and as a matter of fact, they're running only about 74, 75% of capacity right now. So um, we'll want to see these numbers show some strength. Now, keep in mind, we've got an OPEC report coming out here um, tomorrow. We've got ISM. Now, ISM is one of those big numbers coming. So remember, as you plan forward today, even though we're really, really bullish this morning, we've got some big data coming our way later this week. Um, job openings report, petroleum status, FOMC minutes, and probably the bigger one right here at the end of the week is that employment situation number. So you'll want to keep a close eye on all of these reports as we move through the week. We got a lot of data coming our way. Now, good news or bad news, uh, depending on how you see it, we're probably, we're going to have a really light week on the earnings front. Um, today, we have three stocks listed on the economic, or the earnings calendar. None of them are confirmed, and I don't think um, any of them are going to actually report. And then keep in mind, as we start stepping through this week, um, um, we we just have um, just the anticipation of the new um, earning season coming up. We'll have that anticipation um, of that, but we're not really going to have all that many um, really big movers in the market. So a, a rather light week, but there will be some notables coming up later um, in this week. So kind of keep that in mind as we get ready to head into another season of earnings and that very manipulative season that we tend to see during that period of time. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. They click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, helps the channel to continue to grow. Um, I, again, guys, I am truly humbled that there are this many people that have subscribed to the channel and I truly, truly appreciate it. So I always wanna do my best job for you. No hype, no prediction, just taking a look at these index charts and and internals to uh, prepare you for the day. And if you find that to be helpful, please make sure that share these videos and continue to support the channel by leaving uh, those thumbs up and comments. I uh, truly appreciate it. Also, thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. If you're not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options and want to support this kind of content, that's your opportunity to do so right there. Clicking that link just below the title of the video. And thank you so much for everyone who has done that. I 
I truly, truly appreciate it. Now let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And as you guys know, I've been talking about quite a few and uh, I was gone um, uh, the last two days of the trading year. So I may be a little bit behind on the perfect trades out there, but I gotta tell you, there's still some stocks looking very, very good. I was looking over these on Sunday. I really like the way this VALE continues to set up in here. We've pushed up through um, that bottom in here. We're consolidating this in a nice, nice resting pattern. Let's take a look at those averages in here. We're up above our 50-day moving average. We have a good opportunity for that to rally to the upside in here. This should be on a list and you should be watching that for that potential that that could push on through and move to the upside. Also, I have to say, if you take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks, and you guys know that I was talking about those a lot toward the end of the week uh, or toward the end of the year, there's been a, an amazing surge in these defensive sector stocks. Take a look at Philip Morris. This pink line, if you see a pink line on my chart, you know that that has been a price alert that I've placed on the chart. Philip Morris is performing nicely, pushing on up. This is a good defensive sector stock, a strong dividend payer, and it's looking very, very good here. Uh, very bullish coming up out of this bottom. Now, keep in mind, it's approaching that 200-day moving average, and that could be a little bit of a stopping point or a resting point in there. And we also want to make note of this price resistance right here in the chart. But Philip Morris is starting to come around. We're also seeing um, a lot of stocks in that sector show lots of strength. Um, take a look at like 3M. 3M starting to push up, trying to break some downtrends, a little higher lows starting to set up here. Again, a big dividend payer. If we take a look at Verizon, now Verizon broke this downtrend and we've got a big pullback going on in this chart. And notice right in here, we're trying to hold some support. If we can find some bullishness in here and we can hold this downtrend, that is how uptrends begin. And if we can watch for those opportunities in here for those charts to move on higher. A little bit different area, take a look at uh, BMY. BMY. Um, healthcare has also been extremely strong. Notice we're breaking through resistance levels. We're holding those resistance levels as support. No one wants to sell in here. Keep a close eye on Bristol Myers. That opportunity that could move on higher um, looks pretty good. I'd watch that closely. You might want to take a look at like, um, if you don't mind, um, pretty high price stocks. Um, UNH, UNH, nice trending pattern, beautiful upside move. Now this trend right here is pretty steep, pretty sharp, and that's why I drew this trend line. I think there is that possibility that this could rest or come back into that trend. But let's watch that carefully. Healthcare stocks have been very, very strong and show lots and lots of bullishness. So keep a close eye on those. Um, a couple other stocks that um, I think are of interest in here because of the big surge at the end of the year. Here's another defensive sector stock, a dividend payer. Boy, they don't get much more boring than uh, Campbell Soup. But I got to tell you, when we see these old, boring, dividend paying stocks sh showing lots of bullishness, it signals that possible rotation, institutions rolling out of some of those high flyers looking for some safety. So let's watch these carefully. If they can rest or pull back, hit trends, watch for those opportunities in some of these stocks. There's a lot of them setting up and I'll talk more about some of those um, as we go through the week. So with that everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading and thank you so much for your support of the channel throughout the year. I never would have expected going over 25,000. You guys are awesome. Let's have another banner year and I wanna wish everyone great success in your year. So let's start off this year with a bang. Let's make some money today. Be careful not to race and chase just in case, just in case that pop and drop occurs. Everyone take care and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning.